Hi class, welcome to CSIT 146 e-commerce and web presence. This semester we'll be working together to understand more about this potentially lucrative and fast-paced world. We'll even give you a way to start your own business. You will all be getting an extended free trial with Shopify. Many consider Shopify the best e-commerce builder on the market. Your extended free trial will last until the end of class. Congratulations. Let's get started. Here are the learning objectives for this week. By the end of this week's lesson, you will be able to navigate Canvas, add a headshot to your Canvas profile, write a short personal introduction, get to know at least two other students, list the kinds of online businesses or services you would like to have, obtain a Shopify free trial, and make clickable links. First, I'd like you to take the CSIT 146 student survey on Canvas to help me better understand your needs. You can find a link on your home page or go to modules. If you haven't done so already, take a tour of Canvas. My previous video can lead you through the highlights for our class. Next, add a profile picture, preferably a headshot to your Canvas user's account. This link explains how, but it's very simple. Just click on account in the global navigation bar, select profile, click on the picture icon and upload a picture. Remember, your icon will be small, so your picture needs to focus on your head. Be professional. You never know if your next employer or client might be in this class. If you prefer to not use your own image, use a headshot of a historical figure, pet, or cartoon character. If you don't use your own picture in your intro, tell us why you chose the other picture. After that, if you haven't done so, obtain a free trial account with Shopify at shopify.com. After setting up the initial account, fill out this form at this link to obtain the special MiraCosta extended free trial. Your store will be good until the end of the semester. This is an exclusive for our class. If you have any questions about it, contact me and I'll get the answers you need from our representative at Shopify. Once you get your account into Canvas, open the Shopify store account assignment. In the assignment text box, paste the URL, ID, and password for the account. This information will come only to me and won't be publicly available. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Don't forget to make the URL clickable. Now, you should be ready to participate in the week one discussion. Go to the introductions discussion on Canvas, start a new thread and do the following. Write a short introduction of yourself that includes a few sentences about your background, one to two sentences about what you hope to learn from this class, list some things that you would like to sell or services you would like to offer. If you already have an online business, tell us about it. If you make any references to websites, make them clickable links so we don't have to cut and paste or type them into the web browser. I provide a link on the instructions page that shows you how to turn text into hyperlinks in Canvas. In your discussion, provide the URL to your Shopify store and share your brief initial impressions of Shopify. Don't forget, make the link clickable. After you've posted your introduction, say hi 
to at least two other students and provide thoughtful, substantive comments on their posts. In other words, through your comments, demonstrate that you actually read what they wrote. If a student already has three introductions, please introduce yourself to another student. Make sure to respond back to the students who introduce themselves to you. On the instructions page, I provide some great resources, including an intro to Shopify, an article that provides eight strategies for finding your first product, and another article that explains the pros and cons of drop shipping. Drop shipping is an extremely cost effective way to get started in e commerce, but like everything, it has its pros and cons. The last link is to Alibaba.com, the Chinese website that connects manufacturers around the world with marketers around the world. By the way, the Alibaba company is now part owner of Spielberg's Amblin Entertainment. You can see how lucrative e-commerce can be. Lastly, here's a link to the rubric for the introduction assignment I'll be using as a guide to grading. Are you ready, class? Let's get started.